All right, so here we are in Minecraft, and I'm gonna show you um, a couple ways that Minecraft actually has independent and dependent variables. Um, another way to think about these is an independent variable is an input, and a dependent variable is an output. The independent variable is what are you controlling, and the dependent variable is what's gonna be the outcome or the result of that independent variable. So here it says turn on the lantern. So in Minecraft, if I right click on things, I typically can make things happen. So I'm gonna right click on this lantern. It is not turning on. So just clicking on the lantern is not the correct input or independent variable. However, if I click on this button, that turns on the lantern. So the independent variable or the input is the button, is clicking the button. The dependent variable, whether the light is going to turn on or the output, um, would be the dependent variable for the lantern. So now let's go to task two, open the door. So again, if I right click on things, usually they'll open. This door will not open when I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this lever. Oh, and there it is, it opened. Okay, so now I'm going to go, so this would be the independent variable clicking on the uh, lever and the door would be the dependent variable. The door depends on where the lever is at. So if the lever is closed, the door is closed. The lever is open, the door is open. Task three, find the door to the cave. So I know that caves usually are in places with that gray material, so I'm gonna go that way. Oh, and now it's looking promising. Just gonna jump down. All right, task four, open the door. Use the lanterns to find the bats that were trapped then free the bats without destroying their cage, okay? So as we learned earlier, if right-clicking on this door isn't gonna open it, but I can use the lever to open it. All right, so there's lanterns. Here's a lantern, I'll turn that on. Okay, oh, here's another lantern. Oh, it looks like it's turning that on over there. Oh, my right-click button is not fantastic right now, okay. Um, I'm gonna keep going, oh, that's my agent, hey agent. Okay, it looks like we have another lever here, and that's taking me this way. So I'm going to go ahead and head this way. Oh, there's a bat. We're probably close. Oh, there's another lever. And let's see, what is that? Making that. So I didn't really get any brighter. Oh, but that did. Oh, I see something. Ah, oh, there's the cage. Okay, so I need to free them. Here's another one of those doors. All right, I'm going to click this button, see if I can free some bats. Oh, I got to come out. Let's see. I'm not destroying the cage. I'm just destroying this wall so I can back up a little bit so I can see. Any of them coming out? Nope. Come on, bats. I'm trying to free you. I don't have a lot of time. All right, well, I guess they need to take their time. So. I'm going to sit here for a while and try to let these guys out, and I'm sure that that'll happen soon. All right, give me a minute. Okay, so I have one bat left. I'm somewhat convinced he just really likes it in there because he won't leave. So I'm, I'm just going to leave him in there because it seems like a personal problem. All right, well, uh, yeah, so that's how we have the independent variable and the dependent variable. The button is going to make the door open or close, so it is independent. The door depends on the button, so it is the dependent variable. All right, I hope you learned something in Minecraft today. Um, let's keep going with that lesson.